Kayani's Tiny TV in beautiful Manoa for our Lex Brody's Thank You Very Much Award. Obviously, for this edition, we're at Manoa Elementary. We have a special guest, and his name is Tiny Tadani. Let's give him a hand. This is the cafeteria. We're invading their lunchtime. This is Manoa Elementary's K or three, third grade through sixth grade. All right, guys? Well, thank you for letting us come into your lunch period. I'm going to introduce to you, he's the boss, he's the president, general manager of Lex Brody's. You know where your parents get your tires fixed? Yeah, and get their car fixed up and all that? This is Scott Williams. Let's hear it for Scott. Thank you very much, Tiny. And to really um, amplify you know, so you can see what happens when someone says thank you very much. The young person who wins, their class is going to get $250 to get to do what they decide with. Uh, we have a new sponsor, which is Podium Raceway and Kapolei. They're going to get 15 races at Kapolei Raceway. The person they're written to um, gets a two-night stay at the Princess Kailani. And the course is going to be on Tiny TV. Their picture and their letter is going to be in the midweek. They get to read their letter live on the air at the Perry and Price Show. Just all this amazing things just simply by taking the time to say thank you very much. And I noticed that's one of your guys' banners back here, which is appreciation. You know, such a simple thing, but the power it has to, uh, in, to impact your life and those around you is amazing. So with that, we're going to call up our winner. It's a surprise. It's a young lady that wrote to her mom. Her name is Hana Ojihara. Will you please come up, please? Dear Mom, thank you so much for letting me care for Lucky and his bird brothers and sisters. You encouraged me and told me that lives of four baby birds are very valuable and special, just like ours. I rescued four baby birds last year, but only one survived. They were so healthy, and most of all, he was so cute. And since that was the first time I rescued a wild bird, Lucky, we named him, pulled me into the bird family. I love birds from that day on, and I'll love them for the rest of my life. Lucky helped me recognize my love for birds. He also helped me decide my future career. We met because I love animals in general. Lucky also sent an important message to me. He told me by his actions that life is not easy, and that giving up is not the right thing to do. It was really hard feeding them through a syringe and keeping them warm. Even though I was busy, I had to care for them. Another hard part is that when they are still babies, you have to take them everywhere you go. Once I took them to my friend's house where we celebrated Thanksgiving. I was really sad when Lucky died on Christmas Eve of 2010. However, that still never stopped me. After him, I took care of eight more different birds from the wild. Fortunately, I got to sit let two sparrows named him and talk back into the wild. I miss all of the birds, but I know that there will be many more chances for me to take care of more wild birds, and it was such a good experience I will never forget. Thank you, Mom, for encouraging me, your loving daughter, Hannah. Wow, that was a different one. We had a bird story. Here's our teachers who helped get our Thank You Very Much Award. Uh, in at Manoa, uh, Miss Pratt and Miss Mitsuda. Now, uh, you guys do a, a dual thing. You have two teachers. How come? Um, we have um, an assortment of students that are with us all day, so we co-teach together. Now, Mrs. Mitsuda, you, you must have known it was a special letter when you read it, yeah? Yes, it ended up she was the only one we entered. <laughs> wow. So this is kind of like prejudged by you guys. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, Mom, when did you get to read this letter? Uh, actually, I read it like two days ago for the first time. <laughs> okay. And uh, what about for you who wrote it? I mean, it must have been special because it was about your birdie, right? Yeah. Um, it was a good experience. Mm -hmm. Now, you you love your birds, obviously. So, um, and, and some, you know, they live and die, right, and everything. You have to kind of go with that, but. What was the biggest thing you learned about life with, with the birds and, and your mom helping you raise them? Um, 
you have to go through the hard times because um, sometimes it doesn't go how you really want it to go and then it ends up um, like being sick or dying and sometimes it's, it ends up being good like they live and you get to let them out back into the wild so it's good and bad. Yeah, good and bad. Very nice. Now mom, you must be proud how she kind of wrote a, a different kind of thank you letter and, and, and how does it feel to be the recipient of our award? Oh, um, well, this bird journey was um, something that we did together and so um, it meant a lot to me too and for her to just go through that experience of uh, rescuing wild birds, um, it was something we did together and I'm really proud of her. Alright, well thank you very much, we're proud of you mom. Congratulations.